hope you're having a great day. Coming to you guys live from a kind of exhausting and one of those days where you feel like everything's going wrong. And then you have to try to convince yourself that everything is not going wrong and so that things can start to go right. So I'm on that kick right now. I look a little tired. But I wanted to share with you guys, um, one, just the realness of where I'm at, that I'm not always going to be in a good mood or be really vibrant and cheerful. I was distracted by this guy in a tank top. No. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys a list of the things, accessibility things, tools, etc., that I cannot live without. I can't really with guys in tank tops, to be honest. Like, very rarely does that make sense to me, or is that appropriate? <laughs> but that's just me. Have fun with this one. I hope it's helpful. Okay, bye. Probably number one thing that I can't live without, but choose your own style. This is mine. The ring that I get on Amazon, and I make sure I have extra stickies for it. Very important. Um, but this is how I can reach my phone at night, anywhere, really. Muy importante. Could not live without this. Um, well, probably could live, but it would make shit a lot harder. So get one of these. Um, I have some friends that like the string more. It's just kind of like, I think, like my friend who doesn't have wrist extension, he likes the string more because it's more accessible for him. So you just gotta kind of figure out what you what works for you but yeah there's that number two is this handy dandy reacher you can get these on amazon you also might be able to get these through your um caseworker if you have a caseworker if you don't get one call your local county offices they can then hopefully help you my caseworker got this through what's called a caddy waiver in minnesota and this is like my terminator hand as i call it I use the Tino Desis that I have, which is this wrist extension, like so, to make this pinch. This is crucial. If I drop shit, I can pick it up. Because Smokey hasn't figured that out yet, so. Let's say I dropped this scrunchie. Ta-da! This can even, I use this. Check this shit. I didn't say it was easy, but I said it was possible. See? Ooh. Boom. Nice. Move this here garbage can if I want to. And move it back. Yes! See that? Pro tip, make sure you store this somewhere that's reachable. Because if you want to reach your reacher and you can't, that would be a sadly ironic situation. Water bottle. This is another accessibility feature I cannot live without. Then I can get this from anywhere, out of my cup holder, on my table next to my bed, if I drop it. All right, gang. What up? I put a string on my wallet. I got this wallet on Etsy from this cool leather maker here in Hawaii, actually. Isn't it cute? It comes in lots of colors. And then I got some leather string and I tied it around it. And then I tied a little loop so that I can get this out of my purse more easily or anywhere for that matter. Things like these, like, like these, things like these make all the difference in making our lives easier, less frustrating, uh, and spending a lot less time doing shit that takes us way longer than it does able-bodied people a lot of the time. This is my car key that I have 
Velcro down to here. I put Velcro here. And on here, and I buy a roll of Velcro. And then I have um, these like strap ones that you can buy too. But I put this on. And then I slip it back on like that. And you can always tighten it like that. Or someone else can. <laughs> this here is my iPad. I write a lot. It's far easier for me to write on a touch screen than it is also one with a strap on it. It's very careful not to say strap on, but you know, nothing wrong with that. Accessibility features on here. I only have that for this. This is the accessibility button. You can move it around. You can go into your settings to turn it on. Assistive touch. And you turn that on right there. And then you have, right there is where you turn it on so it's green. And then you'll have this little button. And this little button moves all over and you hit it. You can go home. You can bring up your control center and mess with the volume or the brightness or your flashlight, all the things, right? Um, you can screenshot You can, you can go at all, I mean, explore on your own leisure, but you can do all sorts of stuff. You could lock your screen if it's easier to do it than it is here. Like sometimes if I don't want to push this button or it's too hard to for some reason, then I just ask, I just go, hey Siri. And then the screen pops open um, so that I can then avoid that button and just do this. This is how I write. If anyone knows of a f screen that you can get added to here, where it's a flat screen, where like a touch screen, but you can do it down here, please let me know. I haven't been able to find one. But um, here I'll just like do a note. Oh, you listen to this. Um, so I'll start a new note. These. I like to like wedge my thumb in between so I have more stability like that because then my thumbs don't like wiggle around like quad thumbs do so I hook them in like that and then these are my favorite accessibility toys. Oh. Okay. Okay, so lever handles. Only lever handles. Apple Watch. For safety, really, because at night when I'm alone, if I were to drop my phone, um, I always have a means to get a hold of someone. Um, this just puts me at ease so that I know that if something bad happens, I know I can either call 911 or I can get a hold of someone. Accessibility features I can't live without. Ropes on doors with a loop at the end. Loop it up there, loop it down here, put my thumb in, be very careful. Go slow so that you don't break your freaking thumb. Okay, but I go out. How'd you learn that? Uh, my neighbors, I lived in Section 8 housing that was accessible. Section 8, and I was like, I remember looking at all of the doors and being like, why does everyone have a rope on their door? Like when I first moved in. And I found out real fast. <laughs> so yeah, we learn from each other. You gotta have your people to teach you the ways. Okay, Smokey. my fuel for the day. Fun times.
I should like put like Blue's eyes on this. Googly eyes on this. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're like a Muppet. Hi, Sam. Hi, Papa. I love you. I love you. Bitch. What is that? Oh, it rhymes with E.T. There's like something in E.T. where they like, they have some little, Elliot has like some little gadget like this. Except it's, I feel like it's white. And it's like something like this. You remember that? Everybody <laughs> remembers that.